currently four owners, we're four equal owners. Myself, Clint Kesterson, Dr. Dave Wylander, Calvin Tulsted, and Dr. Anthony McClary. And I have one full-time associate, Dr. Kara Sutphin, and a part-time associate, Dr. Jack Clace. One of the unique things about Alliance Animal Clinic is that the ownership is equal. There is no senior partner, no dominant partner. We all own 25% of the business of the professional corporation, and the owners all own 25% of the real estate. So if we have an area that we like, and somebody else admits a case that they're not comfortable with or they want some extra help with, then we just self-refer within the clinic and help each other. But everyone in the practice does some of the major species. So in Western Nebraska, our major species are horses and cattle and dogs and cats. So if there are a few exotics and a few other things, we take turns or self-refer within the practice. When we decided we wanted a new facility, we kind of sat down with Patterson, with Brian Henderson and the architect that Patterson has on staff and came up with some rough ideas and gave them our input and they came up with some ideas and then we worked back and forth until we found a compromise of what we thought would work best for us. Probably in the 2016 we started, uh, they started discussing that they were running out of space and we started looking at alternatives. Uh, their original clinic was in the city limits and so they were somewhat limited by what they could do with the realization that uh, their original facility, they simply outgrew it. So the original clinic on 903 Flack Avenue was started in the 1950s with a solo practitioner and expanded to two doctors, eventually three doctors in the 70s, back to two doctors, and in the 90s went to four doctors. So we were short on space. It's just totally outgrew it, but uh, they've been a staple in the community for uh, all this time and uh, the kind of go-to clinic in uh, the about a hundred mile radius of the center center part of the Nebraska Panhandle. We just decided that they were going to blow that up and we contacted Michael Reynolds of our design team and told him kind of what we wanted and Michael started doing drawings and then it's a proactive process back and forth of Michael sending out a drawing and the four partners looking at the drawing and uh, till we come up with a, a master plan and so what uh, we started construction in 2019 and what we have ended up with is a 14,000 square foot small animal and office facility uh, in addition we have a 14,000 square foot equine and uh, large animal surgery unit and then a 4,000 square foot cattle processing facility it's also under a roof so it's kind of become the the premier facility in western Nebraska as far as handling all sorts of animals. So we approximately quadrupled the space of the small animal clinic and doubled the space of the large animal facility. This facility gave us some options of expansion for the small animal facility and expanding our large animal facility and the haul-in capabilities. 